Hi guys, Brianna here today, and today we'll be showing you a follow-up on Cleo, um, and like what she's doing right now at this moment, and I'm also going to be talking to you about how I got her and stuff because I didn't really explain it in the video before. By the way, if you did not see the video that I just posted a couple of hours ago, a couple of hours ago, sorry, please go check that out. Um, in that video I showed me going to the different stores and um, looking for my hamster, and then when I got her and I showed when I put her in the cage and I showed some tube footage of her climbing in the tubes and stuff, so it's pretty cute. So go check that out if you haven't already. Um, so anyway, let's get started. So first things first, I went to do two different pet smarts because that's where they have the Syrian hamsters. That's where they have the Syrian hamsters by. Sorry about that, guys. So that's where they sell them, and they do sell them in Petco also, but PetSmart, I feel like, is better and it's more clean and they take care of them more anyway by us by us here anyways but um yeah so I went to the first PetSmart and that one like I really liked the ones that were there they were really cute and there was this one that I like really liked but there was a family and I think that they got her already and she was really cute and stuff and I was thinking about I would like that I was thinking maybe I won't go to the other place because like I'll just get it here and I'll just get everything here like the aspen bedding that I needed to get and the extra water bottle that I need to get or whatever but I winded up not doing that. I winded up going to the other place like I originally was going to. And I don't know, something in my gut was telling me I should go there and check it out. Like, just to see. Like, you never know. Well, first things first, I did buy Aspen Bedding in the second place. And I did buy this water bottle. This water bottle is was dripping a lot, as I showed in the other video, like, just before this. So, I actually might not... I mean, I'm actually going to have to buy a new water bottle or... I'm going to see if I can maybe return this and buy another one or something, because this one, it was, like, dripping a lot, like, it was dripping a lot, so, I'm going to see if I can return this and see what happens, but, um, yeah, so, um, I'm going to, I'm using my sister's water bottle that she has for her hedgehog temporarily until I go back to the store and buy a new one, but, um, anyways, so, I went to the second PetSmart, and I was looking at all the hamsters, and there was one that I really liked, and she was, like, a grayish silver color with, like, black ears, or, like, um, dark gray ears, and she was so, so cute, and I was thinking I might get her, but something in my mind was really telling me that I wanted to get a tan Syrian hamster, like, the, like, normal tan colors, I don't know, something in my mind was just telling me, like, to get that one, and I just, I don't know, I had to, I don't know, that's the one I wanted to get, so... Um, that's the one that I was planning on getting. So I asked the woman after she showed me that, I was like, do you have any, like, short-haired, um, like, tan ones? Because I told her that I wanted, I was looking into a short-haired serum, I wanted, like, a short-haired one. And I asked her, I was like, do you have any, like, tan ones? And she was like, I don't know, let me check in the back. First things first, I didn't even know that PetSmart had a section in the back of the store where they have more animals. Like, I thought that, like, when they get shipped in, they just put them straight in the cages for people to buy them. Because I thought that once they're shipped... And once they get them delivered to the store, that they're already um, sellable. But I guess they weren't. So she told me before that we went in there, she told me that I might not be able to buy it at that moment because they might not be ready to be bought. Like, I might have to wait a little bit, which I didn't want to do. Obviously, I want to get it that day. So I went back there, and she opened a, this, like, drawer bin thing, and she showed me this little hamster and she was so cute and she was tan and she was like younger than all the other ones that they sold in the store and she before anything she asked my the other worker that worked there oh is she sellable and she said yeah actually that one is sellable the reason why she's not in the front is because there was no room in the cages so I was like oh that's cool one thing is that the woman was very pushy she was trying to get me to get her like very badly like she was like oh so are you gonna buy her are you gonna buy her are you gonna buy her and I was like like, I was like, okay, you gotta calm down a little bit, seriously. But, um, I, um, the reason why I did buy her, that was Cleo, that cute little hamster that I was talking about. And the reason why I did buy her was because she was younger than most of the Syrian hamsters. They said that she was around, like, four months, but that's probably not accurate. I don't really trust their estimations. Like, she might be a year for all I know. I don't even know. But no, she's not that old, but I know that she is on the younger side. And that's why I picked her. I picked her because she was young, and she had a really nice pattern and a really nice color to her. And I really, like, thought she was really cute. And also, since she was younger, she was obviously going to be easier to tame. So I also, all those things went in my mind before I got her, and I was like, she's the one. She's the one. Like, I just knew it. But, um, 
Another thing that I do recommend is that when you do get your student hamster, let her stay in her new environment for about four days to a week, just so she gets acclimated to her new environment and she knows like where she is and all that stuff, or he, he or she, um, so they know where they are. And that's just what I always recommend to ev anyone. And I saw this in other videos, and I do agree with that um, because obviously, if you get her um get your hamster for the first time and you're trying to handle her and play with her well first things first she's probably going to be scared of, of you because like i said you just got her she's not going to know who you are she needs time to get warm up to you and and all that stuff and also she doesn't know her new environment she's not used to that so she has to get he or she sorry i keep saying she because i have a girl but um he or she is not used to that so you have to let them get used to their new environment they just that's just something that you have to do so yeah that and yeah so when I got her I was really really excited and I I don't know I just I was really happy with my decision and yeah another thing before I do end this video I wanted to show you that the wheel did come in when I was on vacation my stepdad's mom um put it in her brought it to her house just so that no one would steal it which I'm very thankful for but this is um this is a 28 centimeter wheel, so 11 inches and so 11 inches, um, 28 centimeters and 11 inches. It is pretty big, so um, it is a lot bigger than I was um, expecting. I mean, I did expect it to be about this big, but what I, I'm not going to be putting it in the cage because it doesn't fit. But what I am planning on doing is I'm planning on eventually making another circle over here on the cage and having the tubes go down to a tall bin that will fit the wheel so the wheel will only be in that bin so then she'll be able to go in that big wheel and she'll be able to use that. I also am going to order another wheel which is called the Wodent wheel, W-O-D-E-N-T wheel and I'm going to also order that online. Not right now. For now she's just going to use the one that's in the Habit Trail Uvu Suite because She's very small, and she fits in that, so I'm just going to have her use that one for now, but I will now show you where she is. She is in the den part of the cage. It's kind of hard to see her. I don't want to wake her up or anything, but but yeah, she's kind of getting sleepy and stuff, so it's kind of hard to see her, but she was moving about a little bit before. Oh, there she goes a little bit. Her eyes are still closed, but she's like, I don't know. And, yeah, so that's her right here. She's doing very well. In the beginning, she was a little, like, like, she didn't know what she was doing in the beginning. Like, she didn't know where she was going. She didn't, she, I th she was getting very scared to go up the tubes in the beginning, but now she's, like, really good. Another thing I want to show you guys before I end the video is that she actually hid the stuff in this den, so she stored some things. I gave her some seeds in the, um... Habit Trail Uvu transport unit, and she took it to the den, um, dug under, and was eating it there. So she, like, took it in there, and that's where she dug it. But anyways, I put some more sunflower seeds in there for her to get and, like, um, store again. But I don't know if you guys can see this. This is going to be really hard to take. Uh, I'm going to try to get this phone in here. So, okay, in the inside of this, I do not know if you guys can see but I am going to try my best to get you guys to see it. Inside of this den, I really hope you can see it. Inside of this den, which I don't think you can see, um, let me try to tape it from here. Inside of the little den part, I don't know if you guys can see, but there are actually seeds in there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but in there, there are actually, she stored some seeds in there, like, all the way in the back, and some food in there for, I don't know, she just stored it in there, so, I just thought that was really cute, and I saw her actually, before I gave her some of the treats, which is called the, tr um, no, what's it called, the tropical something seed, the tropical, what is that called, come on, um, I'll show you right now. It is called the Tropical, I don't remember, oh, the Extreme Tropical Treasures, these things, and when the other water bottle was dripping in there, I put some of them on top of the paper towel, and she um, took all of them, uh, there was about maybe ten of them, or maybe like eight, I don't know exactly how much, but um, she took all those and we're storing them in her mouth, 
in the side of her cheek. And I don't know exactly where she put it, but she did put it somewhere. Oh, she's actually walking about right now. If you can see her, she's climbing the... I'll go on the other side so you guys can see her better. She is very cute. I'm really happy with my purchase. And yes, I did buy everything for her. I did buy her myself, and I did buy all the stuff. I'll try to open this a little bit so you guys can see her better. So yeah, that's her. Hi, Cleo. Hi, girl. Yeah, I don't want to disturb her too much because I want her... Ooh, sorry. I want her to get used to the her new home. I actually did put more Carefresh bedding in this transport unit for her. That is the water bottle. I don't know if she's drank if she drank out of that yet, but um yeah, I don't know. But she is roaming around a little bit now in the cage and she really does love this little den thing right here. She like loves it. She's like been sleeping in it for like the past um all this past time that I've had her in here, she was staying in there. So that's really cute. So yeah. You can tell she's up there. She's very, very cute. Very cute. But yeah, she's adorable. So, I know this video turned out to be a little longer than I was planning on it to be. But yeah, so this is going to be it for this video and all that. Um, I'll tape more um, videos with Cleo. And remember, request anything. If you would like to see anything, request it in the comments below. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe please I'd really appreciate it and like I said request any videos or anything that you would like to see and I will surely do it so yeah and that's about it for this video stay tuned for all the next videos to come and so I'll see you guys later guys bye